Hello there, today we are going to have a little chat about how to become a school shooter. Step number one, live in the country of freedom. Because you know, guns. Boom, boom, bing. Step number two, be mentally ill. Step number three, play violent video games like basically every teenage kid does. Welcome to Brains Applied. Before I start off with the serious stuff, I actually want to give you a little disclaimer. Um, people that commit school shootings are not mentally ill. Or they are a bit mentally ill, but not completely cr batshit crazy. They are severely depressed and this jams their way of thinking. However, they are still completely aware of what they are doing. And in this video, I'm going to try to explain why they do what they do but I do not approve of it in any way. So I hope you like this video or that you think it's helpful. If you like it, um, press the like button, share it with your friends and most importantly, press the subscribe button and the bell icon so you receive a notification next time I upload a video. Let's start off with some simple facts. I found this graph which shows the amount of school shootings around the world. As you can see, there clearly is a rising trend. This graph only includes school shootings up to 2011 because all the updated graphs which I could find only included one country, the USA. Because 63% of school shootings actually happen in America. This is probably due to the easy access to guns. However, this graph also includes non-firearms school killings. Almost all of them happen in highly industrialized western countries such as the USA, Canada and Germany. Also 97% of school shooters are men. I will tell you why in a bit, so let's start with how to become a school shooter. Step 1. Reckon you will never meet the high standards of society and masculinity. According to the self-determination theory, school shootings are heavily grounded in the need for recognition and status. Unlike before, we don't have to take over the business of our parents. We don't have to marry a girl from the same village. The world is open for us. But there also is way more pressure. We have to be attractive, we have to be rich, we have to be perfectly happy, we have to be healthy and we have to be very masculine. This is a reason why so many school shooters are men. Media are still portraying men as very masculine stereotypes. But the truth is that we've already gone far beyond the point of clubbing animals for food. Women might have a better job, a better salary, a better status. And although this is perfectly fine, it's still hard to cope with for some men. School shooters in general feel like they're failing at life, like they have no control over what is happening. Although in reality, this might not always be the case. And especially events that might have a major influence on their later life, such as the loss of a related person or an incurable illness, might have a major influence on triggering the school shooting. There are many different theories about why school shootings happen, but they have one thing in common, that there are many different factors that do have an influence. Step 2. Be a loser at school. Adolescents spend a substantial portion of their time at school, yet schools are often jockocracies. The cool, often athletic kids do have a lot more status. They actually throw wild parties, have a lot of friends, hang out with a lot of girls and might even get advantages over other children. According to the socially accepted paradigm, status and recognition can only be reached by having control and influence over others and by being different from other people, for example by achieving. According to Tittle's control balance theory, we need a balance between control by others and control over others. This is a major issue for our shooters. They are often all the way down the hierarchy and they receive a lot of negative recognition, for example through bullying, or they don't receive any recognition at all because they are completely inconspicuous. Inconspicuous people do not get noticed and people that do not get noticed are nothing in high school. This does create a lot of hate amongst the school shooters and this is something which you see in a quote from one of the Columbine school shooters. 
We've always wanted to do this. This is payback. We've dreamed of doing this for years. This is for all the shit you put us through. This is what you deserve. But the bullying and insulting is not per se a one-way road. Some future shooters actually try to provoke such behavior from other people as a way of receiving recognition. It's still negative recognition, but for them it's something. In contrary to common belief, school shooters aren't per se the real loners of the school. They often do have a certain clique, but most often these people are significantly younger or they are the other loners of the school. Those friendships are mostly superficial, but because of them the shooters actually tend to stay under the radar of the teachers who are mostly working with people who are failing their year. Step 3. Have a cold family. Our quest for recognition is also family related. Research has shown that school shooters often do have a lot of emotional indifference in their family, that they have a lack of parental involvement. Sometimes they even have been abused, but this is not always the case. But having emotional recognition is so important for people because it can support them a lot. And having relationships make them actually think about the fact that they have too much at stake to commit any crimes. Of course, we cannot say that this goes for all the families. In some cases, there is a lack of parental control because the shooter is getting depressed and starts to withdraw himself from his family. But the parents just don't notice anything as they think everything is fine because some severely depressed people are very good at hiding what they are feeling on the inside. Step 4. Follow the media. The media tends to spend a lot of time on negative news items in comparison to positive news items because they grab our attention. School shooters might see this attention as a way of getting recognition. At a certain point you're so far down the hill that you don't care about your attention being positive or negative, you just want your recognition. To make it even worse, there are entire online communities of people who appraise these school shooters. Step number 5. Have access to weapons. I'm really sorry for the second amendment people, but having access to guns and having experience with these guns makes the fantasy of killing people much more realistic and makes the eventual step to do kill them much smaller. Yet this does not say everything. There is for example the case of the South African Orne Harmze who killed people at his school with a samurai sword. Now if you feel like these people sound a lot like you, don't worry. These people are just like us. However, they are severely depressed and they don't have the right strategies to cope with their feelings. And everyone does have dreams and fantasies and after a particular bad experience, these might even be vengeful or violent. But our brain just uses these as a way to release tension, so don't worry. Now, if you actually still have these dreams month after month after month, and if you still have these fantasies and they become increasingly important to you, you might want to look for professional help before this dream becomes a plan and the plan becomes a reality. And that is what I wanted to tell you today. Now, before I'm going to tell you to like this video and to subscribe to the channel, which you already should have done by now, I'm going to point you to the description because I put a link to a TED talk in there of a guy who actually almost committed a school shooting. It's a very short talk, it's about 5 minutes, but it's a very powerful one. So if you would be interested, just click the link in the description. Please don't forget to like this video, to share it with your friends, to tell the story about Brains Applied and to subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon because in that case if you press it you will receive a notification next time I upload a video and that will be next Friday and I will see you guys later.